Oh That's my fun. goodness, I can't believe I've just lived the whole, <laughs> a whole dream. Hello and welcome to the Financial Bunny TV. My name is Nicolette Mashile, also known as the Financial Bunny. And yes, we are at Gold Keepers 2023. And I've got the absolute pleasure of talking to somebody that I've stalked for years. <laughs> And if you actually go on their side, you will notice that a lot of the work that I do is influenced, of course, by Alvest. It is the CEO and co-founder of Alvest. It is Sally Krawcheck. Sally, thank you very much for making time. Thank you for having me. I am I so excited. It. Oh my God. <laughs> I want to talk to you. I mean, I know that Alvest is all about women for women, financial advisory, generational wealth, all of that. What made you start that? What was, why was it so important to you? Well, we love to say at Alvest, nothing bad happens when women and have more money. That's why we started it. Here in the United States, women have 30 cents of wealth to every dollar men have. For black women, it's a penny mm. and it's been going in the wrong direction. Mm. And so many bad things come out of that. But when women grow their wealth, when they have more money, families are better off. You know, communities are so much stronger. Society, of course, is fairer, but the economy grows. Nonprofits, women are more likely to give away a larger percent of their wealth to Absolutely. a nonprofit. Women are more likely to believe in climate change and mm. give money towards it. So I grew up on Wall Street. Um, I worked at the big Wall Street firms. Okay. When I thought about my next step with that experience and then seeing that women don't have the wealth men do, and we have something we can do about it, which is build something that centers women, yeah. that helps them invest, often in other women. I could not do it. I had to do it. Mm -hmm. And often, Sally, we hear that women are bad at money. Gah. <laughs> How do we get rid of that? Because it often puts women into this ostrich effect. It's actually literally not true. Yeah. The research shows us that when women invest, we outperform men. Yeah. We do better because, in part, we don't freak out when, when the markets are happened. tough. Yes. Right? Yes, that yes. We, we set a plan, we, we let that plan go, and then we don't check it, we don't trade, we don't give mm. ourselves the opportunity to make bad decisions mm. but it is it's true where you live it's true where I live there are negative media messages to women around money and we just have to break through and just say I'm not gonna listen you know yeah. I, I'm not you know I'm not gonna wear the high heels that are 15 inches high that hurt my feet I'm not gonna fall into having to buy every fast fashion and I'm not gonna buy into the myth that I'm mm. bad with money I'm mm. gonna just ignore it all I absolutely love it just to let you before I let you go I want to find out about financial shame yeah I think it's also another a big problem that we've got when often people feel like you know they they're just not doing enough or they're not earning enough so they just don't do anything right, right, right. yeah well and the messages that we get are not hey you know in the United States women earn 80 cents to a white man's dollar in pay mm -hmm. so of course you don't have start mm -hmm. out with as much of course you start further behind the starting line mm -hmm. instead it's shame it's somehow it's your fault yes right that it must be your spending yes. you're spending yes. too much habits not the whole thing is stacked against you yeah. but just put it out of your mind you know and begin to take the steps that are in your control and one thing that's in all of our control is get the budget in place mm -hmm. right to the best of your ability bring in you know more than you're putting out mm -hmm. not always available to do that but if you can get that budget in place pay off that high interest rate debt mm. as soon as you can build an emergency fund so you've got a cushion and then begin to invest a little bit out of every paycheck and I love that all of this that we're speaking about obviously speaks back to women's economic power yeah. right now before I this is the last one before <laughs> I let you go we can't let you go without asking the main question on this channel is what has been the one money lesson that you learned as a child that you've carried through into your adult life yeah money is power Ooh, money yes. is power you see it at a micro level in relationships and how that can tilt the power in a relationship and of course we see it at the macro level too yeah thank you so much thank you for having oh, me absolutely fantastic it is of course Sally Krawcheck who is the CEO of Alvest and co-founder thank you very much Sally. thank you awesome Yay.